All right, let's talk the good and the bad of full self-driving. I drive 100 miles for my commute, so I can say I have a decent sample size of where full self-driving is right now. Okay, first off, let's start with the good. You can adjust the settings from chill, average, to assertive. So based on your preferences on how the self-driving drives, you can make it a little more aggressive, a little less aggressive. That's kind of cool. Another thing that it's really good at is changing lanes. I mean, it is to the point where if it sees a car approaching you, it'll speed up while changing lanes. It's not like it's just moving at one speed. It does a really good job of that. Um, overall, it knows where it's going. It does fairly well, and it drives like a confident Uber driver. I mean, it just, it does really well 70% of the time, maybe even 80, depending on where you live. Now let's get to the bad. <sighs> where do I start? So, there have been a few times where it has just been indecisive. An example is someone was signaling to, to get in front of me. The car slows down, where normally I'd just keep driving because I was already in their blind spot. I'd get out of their blind spot, just go ahead. There was no one in front of me. The car slows down, and the car you know, doesn't expect me to, so it starts to go over, and then it decides to speed up my car. And obviously it starts slowing down, but just indecisiveness that wouldn't normally happen. Another thing is I was exiting off an off ramp and it splits into two and the car went left, right, left. It couldn't decide and just stopped in the middle to the point where the guy behind me was like, what are you doing? And I had to take over and hurry and just decisively pick a lane. So it's really good. It's mostly decisive, but every once in a while we get indecisive and just not know what to do. I don't know why that is. Obviously this is super impressive. I've never seen this technology on a car, but those two things right there are kind of deal breakers. Another good thing, when I'm next to a semi, it'll naturally go in the lane that is away from the semi rather than approach to it closely, which I really like. And so, you know, there's some adaptive configuring around semi trucks, which is really nice. But for every time that it does that, it likes to go in the fast lane every time because it wants to do the most efficient route. And you know, you can set the speed limit but if there's a car behind you that's wanting to pass you, it doesn't see it all the time. And so it's just going to hang out in the fast lane and be that annoying car that's slowing down traffic. Now, whether, you know, your opinion of how much should you speed in the fast lane or not, regardless of how fast you're going, if someone is tailgating you, you should get over. There's obviously ways to fix that. You can signal, it'll move over for you. But completely on its own, this car can't do everything, but it's getting close. It's really impressive. It just ain't perfect. So anyways, that's my review with full self-driving beta mode after like a couple hundred miles.